our second semifinal on Team Fire. He's the reason the LCK players can't sleep at night. The terror in the top lane. Smurf! Y jugando para el equipo hielo. Llegó a España como jugador profesional. Pero cuando se vaya estará en la lista de los asesinos más buscados por la Interpol. Es... Maple... Maple. Buena suerte, caballeros. Can you uh, do that with my brain real quick? <laughs> I was about to <laughs> say, fix this one. I need to get one of those buttons for my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, I'm crippling. I was going to say, the follow-up to that is obviously easily, you don't have a girlfriend, yeah, Crippo. So. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> so looking at Team Ice, I was just running the math here, and there was three players from Team Ice in the top four. So even if Smep wins and gets the 250 points in the long run in the yeah. finals, he will only tie. It'll be 250 for Ice, 250 for Fire. However, if somebody takes down Smeb, it's going to be looking fantastic for the Team Ice players in the overall scope of All-Stars. Plus, uh, a lot of the players have talked about it. In the one versus one mode, almost none of them care about the team uh, factor. That th This is almost all about personal glory. It's literally one versus one. And uh, Smeb definitely has that very high on his list. I mean, this is a guy that does not want to join SKT to play with Baker. Nope. He'd rather join any other team to play against him and be able to be the one to take Baker down. But that's something you say after you have not joined SKT. <laughs> True, which, which one came first? Did he get his invitation? Meanwhile, though, Maple has been one of the uh, mid laners. You talk about, I mean, we talk about Baker a little bit. This guy has been so close to that echelon. He's always been a top tier. Uh, definitely world caliber. He did just take down Mata in the famed Yasuo 1v1, so... He's just so pleasant to watch, and it's it's kind of a, a guaranteed seal of approval you get when you watch a Maple game. You know he's going to do at least something nice. He's always kind of average at worst. Is like the best way <laughs> to uh, describe Maple for me, but very often, very much so beyond average. He's uh, still waiting for his pick. Smep this time doesn't lock in. He's learned. I can actually wait uh -huh. while they can see my picks on the screen. Quinn Hover here to start it off, but we do expect style, right, for Ooh. both of these guys. I've heard about Mordekaiser, by the way. Oh, have you? Did you know uh, no dragon on this map? <laughs> Damn it. No, man. Ah, shoot, I forgot about that one. Uh, oh, there we go. They already locked those ones in uh, okay, pretty Yasuo quick, though. Versus Cannon. Oh, uh, this. This kind of feels like Smeb was like, oh yeah, the Yasuo thing, that's that's so cool. You guys are like doing that, right? I, I want to get it too. And, and Mabel's like, oh, I already did that. Guy. It's like when you use an old me. You're, you're late. Yeah, you're so late to the party. You're like so excited. You arrive to the party. Hey guys, meet Yasuo too, right? Yeah. Right? <laughs> guys? I can play Yasuo. Guys, Yasuo? Mirror match? Yasuo? Is the cannon a great matchup into it though? Because a lot of it is skill shot based with the Q. But if you can land an auto attack and then W through the wind wall, that's what you want to do. But I feel like yeah, Yasuo I, should be fine. I would definitely max uh, my W as cannon for this matchup. Uh, I mean, Shuriken, if you're super confident in it and you're going to be landing like the point blank ones with yeah, yeah. charges on you, then yeah. But um, W max is the way to go for cannon top lane traditionally when you yeah. play versus melee champions. That has always been it. The only reason people shift to Q is because the range champions are just too far away. Um, but yeah, you just get double value from leveling it up. Just like you said. Not only does the initial uh, mark damage go up, you can proc it again as well. Proc it more often. Always love uh, seeing Yasuo's though. And I, despite all the memes from solo queue and stuff, I love Yasuo, whether he's on my team or on the enemy team. He's just a fun champion to watch. I mean, as a support player uh, who tends to go for kind of setup champions, Yasuo is just so fun to have on your team. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, I guess that it makes sense that we both like him because we're both the sort of setup roles. Because uh -huh, we're too bad to actually play the game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, oh my god, look what that guy's doing. He's so good at this game. Uh -huh. I'm helping. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I press Q once. Smeb uh, running Dorns. Much more efficient. He might actually go for a tank Yasuo again here. Let's see what he's pairing yeah. that Dorn shield with. I mean, these trades, wow, we can be like, oh yeah, look, he's losing. It's super early in the game, so they can just walk all the way back and try and get a recall off. Yeah, he's testing the waters. Honestly. I wonder if he actually will, though. He's staying pretty late in the brush, and he's got... Uh, he might he definitely came out worse for wear on that trade. He's staying with the minions. Yep. Maple getting the early push here and the sustain from the Dorns. So Smeb kind of surprised by the damage from W Stark Cannon. 
Nice. Yeah, Prox's shield immediately as well. That's good. That one all attack from uh, Maple depletes the shield for Smeb, putting him behind again. Definitely was one of the good changes uh, they made to Yasuo, and they were looking for ways to nerf him. I like that they nerfed the uh, time where the shield has to charge back up, because that's one of the most annoying parts about the Yasuo. Uh, building that shield back up from moving around. Maple actually getting. Very good last hits. Yeah, definitely doing a great job here. Looking at Smep also, his runes, he's running both magic resistance and armor, no health, indicating that there's kind of... Having to defend against Kennen is twofold. You know, you can't just single spec into flat armor or flat MR like you can get into most champions, you know, that are very one-dimensional. The fact that Kennen is hybrid in its nature makes him so hard to play against. Definitely true. And Smeb goes in with the knock-up charge. Now can he get minions out of that though. trade, though? Yeah, minions tanking. Good exhaust here. He had one exit creep remaining with the E. Yeah, so not so good exhaust, nope. man. <laughs> he forgot about, he basically forgot about the approaching minion wave. Exactly. Uh, uh, you always have to keep that in mind with Yasuo. That's what makes him so tricky, right? Uh, you can use your own minions against you. Going in for another trade here, actually. They both do have Warlords, by the way, though. Uh, so healing up off mm -hmm. of the minion damage. And it's definitely W Max Cannon because there's 29% attack speed on the side of Maple. So he really just wants to repetitively auto those minions like we've been seeing. Yeah. Generate that CS. He may drop a couple because his AD isn't as high, but he wants to control the wave and as many of these procs as he can to then stun Smep as he goes in. And it is always so hard to get wave control against Yasuo uh, if you're just relying on autos. Because as you can see, uh, Meb... Smep, jeez. I'm having a very good... Uh, <laughs> That's fine, Kobe. I got you. <laughs> I love the fact that he plays the wind wall at, when he's done CSing, places the wind wall, goes for... Uh, undeniable Q-poke, and then he hides the brush again, waits for that shield to come up again. Now he's uh, trying to use his range minions. Yeah. Right. It's always just uh, the possibility of an engage that's keeping Maple back as well. Good double asset with a Q here. Smep showing some uh, Yasuo know-how. I wonder if he does try and take advantage of the summoner spell uh, discrepancy here that he has earned for himself. Currently, he's not, not trying to, you know, he's just shoving in the minion wave, trying to keep his CS up here. Yeah, and following that talk that we did earlier about the points, if Smep falls here, Ice is guaranteed to win the All-Stars event. So he definitely needs to Yeah, win and not the just not just the 1v1s, by the way, the All-Star event. Yeah. There's so many points in the 1v1 tournament. Yep, he will lose his right Ooh. to play in the final for a combined 400 points there. But let's see, we're not there yet. It's the first game of best of three. Smep is up 2 CS, but there is CS under the third from Maple, and it doesn't matter how good he's trading, if he's trailing CS, Ken can control the game later on. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Uh, no sweeper. Keep Maple. on grinding here. Yeah. There's the there's the sweeper, but not gonna go for the rash. Remember, it is the focus on the minions. Almost like hypnotizing. We're just now, the screen. Well, because I'm going through I'm going through the plan, right? Uh, for What's the plan? I'm trying to get in a smed's head, and it's too difficult because you don't I'm, speak Korean. I'm not <laughs> exactly. Oh no! Actually, I got in the head. Now I just have to figure out what he's saying in there. <laughs> um, but you could go try. I, I'm trying to think if he's trying to get to a specific gold point, right? Because mm -hmm. uh, there is a possibility with the level six to try and go for the all in. Hex Drinker? Um, Hex Drinker is the obvious choice. I'm trying to think because there's not really any other super big spiking item. Um, and as you said, Kennen definitely is very big on the hybrid damage, but also. Kennen also has a lot of stuns um, and a lot of disengage where he can try and, you know, kite there. Yeah, not worth, I think. Kite out your hex drink of shield. Yeah, definitely he can kite, but it's not worth specking into, like, Merc Feds. That would be a complete waste of stats. Uh, Tenacity yeah. is definitely not worth going for. Hex drinker is a likely choice. I think Smeb's just waiting for a moment where he can push the wave hard enough that he has a good base timing. Yeah. Um, he is actually no longer trailing on CS. Every time he pushes under turret, there is the risk of Maple losing some CS. A good sidestep. Hides behind the range piece when he needs to, then goes into the brush. Good trade. Windwall to deny auto Q. Really well played by Smeb as he has the shield on the back end. Only loses the shield health there. Plus, with both of them having Warlords, uh, double effect in for Oh! Yeah, this is ulti versus ulti. Smeb needs to land a Q proc into R. If he hits the next Q, it could be over. Remember, it places you outside of the turret if you can. Okay. That's a good change they made to Yasuo as well, or maybe it was from the get-go. If you ulti somebody under turret, yeah. the game will place you as far as away as it can from the oh, turret down. Will Maple expect it? Yeah, there we go. Dust Keeper to find him in there. Smeb was sticking around. 
and he's going to gain, gain so much life off the minion wave, remember. Because Smeb has control of the minion wave and melee double effectiveness on the Warlord's uh, lifesteal, that's why he's been uh, sustaining a bit better than Kenny. But he has to go for, honestly, a really tanky build right now because he's down a summoner. Maybe in the chaos of that all-in, he didn't realize that Maple held onto the exhaust. Yeah, and that is one of those timers that's much more difficult to keep track of. Um, rather than the super easy flash that everyone's used to for Summoner's Rift. Meanwhile, well, you have your own exhaust. So, yeah, I mean, if you use them at the same time. Yeah. Uh, but if, if they're desynced, very difficult. But again, so much attack speed here for Maple. Doubling down on it. And no Hex Drinker. Yeah, nope. so he is going for something else here. Uh, special, I mean. Um, it's either the uh, Sterk's Gauge or the frozen mallet, which would be a long ways off, so. Probably just wants the Charm's Fist just to hold on to that. Yeah, the that one, to me, guy. though, it's actually not very efficient. You know? And you have to stack it up, so. I don't really like the item. And you can't, he's going for a CS victory, unless he just lands a good all in here. Smith taking a lot of damage here, because this is an enraged cannon here. Needs the Relic to get out. Second Sun is coming right now on this mark. Ooh. They just faded. Yeah, need one more. Blood Moon charges. Uh-oh. Now this is That's the tactic we can. Around. Yeah. Good goal for current victory, honestly. Well, Windlaw definitely puts a stop to that. Because we have uh, attack speed boots picked up by Maple and Double Door, and this is kind of a really efficient point for this 80-centric cannon. Or attack speed-centric cannon, rather. Doesn't get much better than this. Yeah, and you're also limited to two Dorans, so it's not like you can just spam a bunch of Dorans. Nope. They've already chosen their Doran's items. Meanwhile, Smeb didn't pick up any other items. So that was a very good exchange from Maple. And he Four just got potions. more potions. Um, so he's no more combat effectiveness there. Just extra sustain, which he didn't have a big problem with before. Now he does. Kennen's getting stronger, obviously, on the later basis. So you only have like one wind wall every so often. That maybe is the problem. And Pep, as Maple gets tankier and has access to exhaust and ulti, the all-in is less likely to happen. Really good counter stun here by Maple. He basically had a mark, W proc, in, or he EW proc, as he had a mark on him already to deny Smep the opportunity of ulti on that knockup. And now he's going oh, all-in. He does get the ulti off though, exhaust. He's exhausted. He's too far away from the relic. He needs to get the relic, but it's too far. That is obviously the problem with Yasuo. The damage of the ulti lands at the end of the animation, which makes it incredibly easy to exhaust. And this is the second time that we've seen one of the players both blow both summoners at the same time. For one. Yet be the ones to start up the exchange later when their opponent had the exhaust advantage. Yeah. And, uh, you know, like you said, sometimes you forget the opponent did not use both summoners at once. Maple, just like Uzi, had the extra exhaust. Pretty easy victory right there for him. In game number one, though, this is a best of three. Mm -hmm. Smeb and Fire still have a chance. But that is honestly, I think, what happened. I think Smeb must have forgotten in the chaos of that first <laughs> what engage happened? that um, the exhaust was still available. Because if you land that, maybe you survive for a bit longer. You get yeah. an extra shield up again. It can all turn the tides. You can get to the Relic, maybe. But suddenly, you're slower as Yasuo. Your ulti get negated. It's so hard to play Yasuo if you get exhausted right before you take that damage. Yeah, definitely agree. Uh, we'll see what he changes up for the next game uh, because Maple definitely willing to go with those ranged champions into the Yasuo. And we'll have to see something different. Smeb said he wanted to win with style. The first part of that is you have to win. Win, yeah. <laughs> when, when you're not winning Losing with, with style. Sti